السلام عليكم لاباس عليكم السلام كلشي بخير السلام كلشي بخير Okay, I was trying to see if the voice is working. And cats um, on him, Zian. Cats on him, Zian. Cool, she's Zian. أنا الحمد لله بخير شكرا شكرا شيفان مرحبا براول ومرحبا بشيفان ومرحبا بجايدة مزيان من كتسمعني مزيان راول كتسمعني مزيان <تصفيق> الحمد لله يا سيب اوف كوفي بيفور اي ستارز انا عندي قهوة ديالي ومستعدة والحمد لله انا بخير كنتمنى تكونوا كاملين بخير اي هوب ذات يو اول ذا وين ويل Okay, um, the others are still not here. Do you have uh, any questions before we start? Aha Shiva, Mlkahwa Bnina. He knows Wina. Kif Dima, as usual. So Kif Dima is as usual. Mlkahwa Bnina, Kif Dima. Can Saib Harasi, Can Saib Harasi. I make it myself. بلاصه قهوه بنينه كيف ديما كنصايبها راسي بلا حليب وبلا قهوه بلا سكر سوري بلا سكر مزيان مذاقها زوين مذاقها تيست جود مذاقها زوين انا اسيب مذاقها بيكوز قهوه از فيمينين سو اي يوزد ها بس اف فور اكزامبل تاكين اباوت سوم كايند اوف فود ذات از ماسكينين ويتش مين لايك اتس اندين ويز ا كونسوننت يو ود سي مذاقو مذاقو زوين فور اكزامبل كسكسو مذاقو زوين القهوه مذاقها زوينه بيتزا مذاقها زوينه سوشي مذاقو زوين which there is a little talk at uh, dozim okay yes uh, it depend uh, okay so if you are talking about the news like al um, akhbar uh, the news is like the talking in standard arabic if you're talking about the movies movies there is a variety of movies there is movies like uh, that the acts uh, with uh, some kind of accent like um, we call it larobi accent which mean like countryside ones Uh, that they were like uh, like old clothes and they were like kind of old this is not the the language that you want to talk um the modern one is like uh, the normal movies uh that they talk a little bit with french uh even though we don't use a lot of french in rabat it depends if you are like talking like uh if you speak in french or not uh but that's the one that you might want to learn like to listen to like uh like in day in day like daily if you are watching dozim and also the the turkey movies like uh, movies like uh, that turkey is that they are like translated in derija that it seems like they talk in derija but they are not moroccans uh those ones are like kind of like i wouldn't say standard one but the most like 
number one and uh, kind of like polite even though we talk faster but you can listen to those ones uh, they are better like they are better than uh, the ones that same from countryside just because they are more clear and uh, it's they don't use slangs and uh, it's a more polite kind of language and uh, if you are um, interested in like learning slangs you might want like to watch anything that from Casablanca. You use a lot of slangs. Um, yep. So there is a variety. Like um, I'm trying to think about the movies that they have. We have in Duzim. I don't watch du Duzim like lately. Um, but I think like uh, most of movies, they are either like um, two countryside that we don't really use that much either they use a lot of french in it so i think the movie that they are translated in Duzim, they are like kind of in the middle so you have a variety of things that you can watch on Duzim. Duzim is a channel uh in morocco if you don't know that yeah okay so for example anna minsla Sla is sali i'm from sali uh hadarbat next to next to rabat so Sally use a lot of slangs. I grew up there. I know some slangs, maybe like um, can say like ninety percent. Doesn't mean that I'm using them. Uh, I live. I like. I use. I used like to go to Rabat daily, and they use these slangs. And when I go to Casablanca, they have like a really strong hard language. Um, they are really nice people. They are like the sweetest. They are so nice and so helpful. Um, but the language is very strong. It has like that really strong slang accent kind of way. <laughs> yes, but almost same as Rabat, almost, almost. It's just in Rabat we don't really use that much. Yes, it's a rough one. The most rough language is in Casablanca, like like literally. And then it comes Sali and uh, Conitra, and then uh, I can see the, the, the sweetest, most polite uh, language is, is in the north. Uh, Rabat is kind of the standard, like modern one, like in the middle. Um, it's like a straight language. <laughs> I can like uh, say it that way. Marakshi, uh, Marakshi one is like hilarious. They can't like uh, go in a sentence without making something funny. Um, the South, okay, the South is like I can't. I never been to the South, but the language is different a little bit in the South. Uh, it's called Hassani. I don't understand Hassani. Hassani is not the same as uh, Darija. And um, maybe they understand us. I can't understand them. Yeah, but uh, as I said, like uh, Rabat, like th the language that I'm teaching and mostly use, and you can be understood and understand people with it, is that language that I'm teaching. I don't uh, literally, like uh, in my videos, use slangs. If they are like bad <laughs> in use, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't like teach them. At least on public. Yes. Do you have any other questions? Fin Rita. Filahia Rita. Where is Rita? Yeah, but I do advise like it's good that you ask me that, Raul, because I really advise people to hear a lot of Darija. Mninta. Yes, Mninta. Where are you from? Mninta. Mninta. Yeah, where are you from? Uh, to get the accent from it, it's like Mninta. 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 And the, the, the non inta and the non in the, the first word, like, like you combine them. Yeah, think it's good. It's mean like, yes. Okay, if this said like Finkotskon, probably they, might, they want like more details. Finkotskon. Nita is like more general, like where you're from. And Finkotskon, like where you're living, like literally where. where. Like for example, if uh, uh, someone asked me like a Moroccan guy or a girl, she said like Ninti. And I will be like, is she telling me like where I'm from, like originally, like where my father is from, or she's asking about like where I live. So this is why we say Mninta is like general. I could say like, 
انا من فور اكزامبل ام فروم ذا نورث انا من الشمال ولكن كنسكن في سالي او في رباط مراكش دي ستي كتسكن فين او ساكن فين Yeah, this is because they are like influenced more with some others, but mostly if I was here, I would uh, use the contrary. I was like, fin katskun or fin sekun, fin sekun. Fin sekun is literally where are you living, it's like uh, the continuous, and the fin katskun is like where you live. And, and don't be confused. Um, yeah, it's, it can be confusing, it's like, uh, but uh, actually like most of words are the same uh, i might just like add something about like uh, marrakesh area so for me like the language that i'm speaking like the data that i speak is mostly like um the same as that like all like other um cities i can understand all of them just because i've been like knowing a lot of people from different areas so i don't see like a major like a major things like it might be like is not i never like ask what does that mean you see um i can see hear the accent i can say like if someone from the north said first word i'd be like you're from the north <laughs> uh, if someone like from marrakesh i've been knowing but it's just the accent and uh, also like um for example when i i was explaining about the present tense and i said it's starting with ka and then this for example kan qara so for marakshi people from marakshi most of the time they say tan qara instead of saying the ka it mostly like they use like the the voiceless sounds the most of sounds and they would use tan qara tan qara for example uh, if for example tetskun Instead of like, like for example, uh, you like uh, live somewhere, I would be like Tetskun. So most of them, if you notice Raoul, like try to like hear a lot, like uh, when it comes to the verbs, most of the time they would use the ta instead of the ka. It doesn't change the meaning. It's just for their pronunciation. Instead of saying can can kara or uh, uh, can bri or I do something can, they will say ten ten. Yeah, but it's the same. Okay, when I watch my Moroccan friend videos on YouTube, she speaks like so fast, I don't understand at all. It makes me a bit confused like then in my mind because it's so fast. Yeah, the advice is, <laughs> yeah, uh, just so when you you have like to learn first, um, Deja first, like enough vocabulary, like uh, to have like a kind of level. And then like when you learn, for example, when you are learning with me, I do say like, for example, how we literally like pronounce something. Yeah, tanqara, tanqara. Yes, tanqara, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like some people like from uh, most of areas, they say like instead of tanqara, they will use tanqara. This is why when you are like listening to people, you might not like uh, recognize some words, but there is just a layer change. For example, either in pr pronunciation, Either they smash the words together, either like uh, they drop some uh, some consonants and some vowels, even though the Asia doesn't have like that a lot of vowels in the in the, in the words. For example, um, if I wanted to say an I'm I'm uh, studying in um, university, for example, uh, some people they will say like kan flafak, kan flafak, and they wouldn't use. We don't really have to use the pronouns. So yeah, this match the word. So if uh, it was like uh, someone else, it was tan karaflapak, tan karaflapak, and you wouldn't like understand much, and you wouldn't know if tan kara is the verb kan kara. Like uh, if you didn't know like the difference, if you didn't know that there is some people who pronounce the kata. So yeah, you just have to be aware of like different things. And this is what I'm trying to. Whenever like I'm on, on a video, like I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to explain that there is not just one way to say something. There is different ways, and uh, I try my best like to talk about each one of them like a little bit to have an idea. Just because when you are listening, then you will be like, okay, what is like almost same as this one? For example, 
if you know like uh, people like can change a word and someone like said tanqara and you'll be like okay kanqara it's almost like tanqara so probably it's the same it's just like uh, the pronunciation is from another region so this is how we know and then uh, with the practice why i'm doing like repetition and shadowing just so that you speak as fast as I do and you smash the words as much as I do. And then when you speak that way, you will understand people. And the reason why I'm telling you, like when you're practicing with me, practice out loud. Because if you practice out loud, like, you will hear your uh, voice and you would know if you are still too slow, if you are sounding as a Moroccan, if you are sounding as me. And then if you are speaking like that, of course, you're going to understand the others. Yes, and it's good like to watch like a lot of movies and uh, music. Just like your ear is like getting used to the, the sounds, and it's good that you notice. For example, you are for example, Raoul noticed like people saying "finketskun" uh, instead of that. So when you notice things, it means like you are already doing good, because uh, people who are still like absolute beginners, they wouldn't like notice from the beginning. But when you start noticing, this is how you, you would know that you are doing well. Maybe you don't feel like you are, um, you, you, you wouldn't, for example, say like, um, still I don't know much, I don't understand, but you actually understand. Sinus, you got that someone said tankara instead of kankara. This is a notice. This is mean like you are step, like going like step in the language. You see what I mean? And this is the best way when you are like learning without feeling that you are like learning hard work and you still like, um, you know, feel like you are like, um, you don't know much, but then you notice it's, it means like you are like already doing well. Okay, uh, did you understand Raul and Shiva? Do you still have any questions? Yeah, you guys, you can ask me any question you want. I don't have problem with questions. I love them. I'm the kind of teacher, like, ask me. Ask me more questions. I love questions because it's mean like you already, like, uh, understanding something. And when you know that you don't understand something or you are still not sure about something, it's mean like there is, like, you are, like, going, like, further. Like, you are doing well. The problem is when you don't have any questions because... It means either you understand everything or you didn't understand anything at all. And um, that's good. I didn't get it. Like, I always say, get cool. And yeah. I didn't hold. You mean Kadrol? Kadrol? Henia? Henia? Uh, I'm not sure if I, I do have an idea of the word. I just like, I'm not sure. Because you said like, if they ask me if I speak to you. If you mean like, you say like, كتدخل هانيا كتخرج زيك is like it's enter like and like uh, that's good it gets out like oh yeah 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 <laughs> I got it I got it كتدخل من هنا وكتخرج من هنا كتدخل من هنا وكتخرج من هنا it uh, this is like um a proverb that say we say like uh, for example, when someone likes like talking to you and you don't really listen, you hear them, but you are not listening. 
ويسي كتدخل من هنا وكتخرج من هنا اتس مين لايك اتس جوين ان فروم او ذس اير اند اتس جيتس اوت فروم ذس اير اتس مين لايك اتس نوت سيكن ان يور مايند ات جيس لايك جوين جيس فروم اير تو اير اند ذن باي باي يس اتس ا فاني فاني بروفرب اتس مين لايك something doesn't stick to someone's mind for example if i'm speaking to my sister and she's not really listening and i'll be like kadkhol min hna kadkhorj min hna it's mean like i'm talking to you but you don't keep it in your mind you're just getting getting it out and also for people who like um in classroom and uh, they go out and they say like i can't really understand this subject it's really hard his uh, explanation is kadkhol min hna wa kadkhorj min hna it's mean it's get in from this ear i do listen to it but it's get out from this ear without like sticking in my mind this is what does it mean um marhaba bik can see ali welcome over here yeah we come to this group we come to the family we are here It's good to have you here. You are absolute beginners. Um, uh, but just know, like, I'm not teaching like standard, modern standard Arabic. I'm teaching Moroccan Arabic, just so that you wouldn't be confused. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do feel like so. Is so impressed when someone like speak Teresa. because uh okay let me tell you something like most of moroccans like 99 they are not aware that the language that they are speaking is a language they say like it's just like a dialects and it doesn't have any rules it doesn't have any grammar doesn't have uh, it's no way for someone to learn it because there is no rules but actually um it's um it does have rules like everything for a reason and this is why i'm mostly like i call it a language because any dialect or any like uh, spoken language that has rules has its own grammar its own prepositions function and everything is a language so yeah they feel impressed they say like uh, uh deja is the hardest language how did they learn they learned uh, to talk like deja but it's not the hardest and of course anyone can learn it it's just like any other language and of course 100% is not the hardest lang the hardest language out, out there Uh, you welcome uh, Ali, can see Ali, okay, and yes. yeah, Ali, can you introduce yourself in Darija, write down what do you know? Yes, they all like say spoken language, you can't learn it, you will learn it just by interacting with the native and just by speaking with people and just by, yes, you can learn um, by uh, speaking to people, like any native uh, person can speak to you, but literally the, salam alaikum Rita, <laughs> yeah, you, you at first I was like, where is Rita, <laughs> oh, okay, I'm glad that you made it. Uh, we haven't started yet. Yeah, we're just like uh, I'm answering some questions. So yes, I um, yes, it's not just a spoken language, and uh, you can learn from natives without rules. But then you wouldn't uh, be able to produce your own sentences, and you wouldn't know how to conjugate grammar to talk in the present or past or future or knowing like. How to deal with some sentences and play play with the language as you want. <laughs> yeah, I I thought so. I was like, mad. I probably the kids didn't want to sleep. <laughs> okay. Any other question? What what else do you um, do you feel like you are confused about? Ali, you are welcome to ask any question you want uh, concerning Darija. Um, we just like did like uh, probably like three lives so far. And the first one was about the pronunciation of the consonants that uh, English speakers don't have. The second one was about like uh, the basic conversation. 
And today we going, I'm going to answer some questions. And after that, we're going to revise what we have done yesterday. And I'm going to give you some games to, to complete the sentences so that I can see what's set in your mind. And then we're going to like um, go further and uh, have another lesson after a lot of practicing, of course. Marhaba Bik um Kinsey Adi and I hope that I'm uh, pronouncing Kinsey correct. Ninta Ninta Kinsey Ninta Where are you from? You can see Anna Min Yeah, uh, if you, um, and by the way, uh, for the Zoom meeting, I'm going to make, make it probably like Sunday. I'm just not sure if it's in the morning that is going to work better for everyone or the afternoon or the night. So we're going to talk about that in the group and uh, you can all vote for the perfect time for, for you, all of you. Because in the group, some people don't live in Morocco and they find it hard like to, to join in. Yeah, I'm from Africa. Yeah, you will see an I'm in Africa. In a blast of Africa, which place in Africa? Yeah, actually for me is... Um, for me, uh, will be the night as well because it's uh, sinus. Like I'm fast in the morning, like I don't have enough energy. But at night, like uh, I'm all with the energy, with the coffee, with the, the food. <laughs> so it's much better. Uh huh. Zian. Setting. You ready? But if you have any questions, do you do Zoom? Yes, uh, we do Zoom. Uh, we have a Facebook group. I don't know if you do have it. We have um, uh, a Facebook group that we try to do meeting weekly, once a week. And uh, the live, I'm going to try to do it like daily or any other day. Salam, Andy. Labasidik, Andy. In Somalia, Marhababik, welcome. Okay, everyone, like um, Ali is a new, new, new from is a new for us over here. If you all try to welcome him, that's okay. Uh, we were just answering some questions. Meshi <laughs> mushkil. It's not a problem. Hanya. Do you remember the word Hanya? No worries. Uh, we still, we didn't pick the time for the Zoom meeting. We're going to talk about that in the group. So we can say which time is um, appropriate for most of the people who want to join the meeting. Hanya, yes. No worries. Hanya Andy. Mashi Mushki. Zian, I love seeing you all practicing. Marhababik can see everyone is like welcoming, welcoming you. Marhababik or marhaba is mean like welcome. <laughs> Shuya, you're doing good. Radiam Zian, Radiam Zian, you're doing good. Um. I'm so sorry, <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry because I saw Ali, and uh, Ali is um, is the name of a guy in Morocco. So I thought it's maybe like you can see is the last name and Ali is the first name. I'm so sorry, Simhilia. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, Alia is not Ali. <laughs> Welcome her. Marhaba <laughs> Alia. 
Yeah, it's in Helia. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I probably like uh, I pronounced all the names incorrect, but I'm trying my best. Wahalia. Okay, you guys. Okay, so what we're going to start with uh, some of the questions that we have done yesterday. Um, after we after we going to finish the meeting, I'm going to try to link um, to link the group, or I might do that. I'm going to try to link to put the link of the group over here, and then you can click on join. And when I finish the live, I'm going to accept it because I'm the only ad admin over there. Okay, it's here. Yes, this is the group link. Okay. Going to do, uh, we have over here the beginning of a question from last time, and you have to finish. So, what is the question that we start with? Shelf, How we can we finish this? Yesterday we did some of the basic conversations. So, shelf. What? How can you complete that? Can you complete it? Shelf. Health. Just from what we have done yesterday, uh, or the or the no, it wasn't yesterday, the, the the day before. Yeah. No. Yes, I know. Um, half amri or half amrak in the question because yes, half amrak yes. So this is was one of the questions. Yes, <laughs> because it's just because the question that if we ask someone else, this is why I was like yes and no, it's correct and not. Shhalf Amrak mean how old are you? Shhalf Amrak. Shhalf Amrak. And I hope that your pronunciation in this question in your practice is good. Shhalf Amrak. Shhalf Amrak. So make sure for the half to open your mouth half amrak just to get the the correct pronunciation of it half amrak okay half amrak what is the questions that it started with snow can you finish what can we say with snow what can we add with snow? Snow? Snow and ash, uh, both of them are the same, by the way. Probably in Morocco, she will hear ash more than snow. Snusmitsk, yes, snusmitsk. Yes, we have like a lot of sentences with them. And uh, we talked about just what we have done yesterday. Yeah, I will accept you for sure when I finish the live because, um, yeah, as I said, like I'm the only admin admin over there. Okay, we can say half amrak. We can say um, we can say shnus mitzik and shnu 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 bretti. Yeah, sorry, I was like shaking the Facebook group and also talking to you <laughs> okay yes for snow snus mitzik which mean like what's your name snobritimni yes what do you want from me snobritimni snobritimni or ashbritimni snobritimni snukliti what did you eat snukliti snukliti We can say um snow shrubti. 
This is impasse or shnuka chrub. If it's girl, shnuka chrubi. Okay, if you ask me shnu ana kan shrub, what I'm drinking, shnu kan shrub, I would say ana kan shrub atay. Shnu kat shrubu, what do you drink? Shnu kat shrubu. Why is the same? It's the same for a girl and for a guy? No. So if it's a guy, I would say shnu kat shrub. Shnu kat shrub. If I'm talking to a girl, I would say shnu kat shrubi. What do you drink? Shnu kat shrubi. For the past, is the same, yes. For the past, is uh, there is no gender specific for you. So if I said for you as a guy, shno kliti, it's the same if I'm talking to a girl like shno kliti. Shivam kachrub kahwa. That's good. Kachrub kahwa bskar bla bla skar. Rahu shno kachrub. Kachrub shihara. Do you drink something? Kachrub shihara. For Rita, can she be she has a? Mhm. Can she be as a lady? And same for Alia. Do you, what do you drink? No, can she be? We can say if you don't drink it, no, no tea or no. Um, uh, coffee, and you can say like I'm just drinking water. You can say well, just well, ma. Me just water. Coffee. Yeah, I love coffee too. So coffee is called kahwa in Darija. Kahwa. Yes, can shrub kahwa. Okay, for for you, Raul, because you are like interested in like um. You know the different uh, Darija ones. So, for example, you might hear in uh, Marrakesh people saying ten shrub, ten shrub. As I explained, instead of the ka, uh, you can use also ta. For me, I use everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm kind of a mix. Ten shrub, or you can see kan shrub. Shnu heda. Yes, shnu heda. What is this? Shnu heda. Oh, also, like I love this one. Is uh, better to say like Shnu had she. Uh, I love this question. Shnu had she or Ash had. And it's same as Shnu had. Shnu had is like what is this? Shnu had she is like what is this thing? What is it? Says could be about the situation, about a like a huge mess. It's like uh, for example, if it was like an accident. And there is was there were like a group of people like uh, standing there. And I want to ask us what is this? You can see Shnu had she instead of saying Shnu had them. Shnugulti, yes. What did you say? Shnugulti. Ash had she. I think you guys like uh, you hear my voice late when I explain, and I see the comments right away. And um, you hear me like a bit late than uh, so you, you ask probably you ask what is mean about Ash Hadshi and I already explained it. So Ash Hadshi, Shnu Hadshi is mean like what is this? But uh, we mean by this Hadshi is mean situation like these things. For example, um, if your kids like did a lot like a big mess and you can say Shnu Hadshi. She was she like, what is this? What is all of this? And also, uh, if you ever like wanted to ask like what's happening, you would say no waka. Yeah, there is two. What's happening? No waka. I love this. Whenever like something you don't like is like happening or you want to ask somewhere like something happened and you want to ask what's happening, you, you say shnu waqa, shnu waqa. Ghbirti. What do you mean by ghbirti? 
Roberti is you disappeared, but I don't know why you put it there because we can we can't say Shno Roberti. Roberti is you disappeared. Shno Waka is me like what's happening. Shno Kanjik Anna like what am I for you? I like this one. Shno Kanjik Anna. That's okay. So, fin uh, reversi, yes. Fin reversi is like where did us appear to, and we say it to our friends when, and uh, I'm the one like they always ask me where did I disappear, and I probably will answer with غير خدمة ودار or غير دنيا like just work no fin reversi mean where did you disappear? Probably wrote the exactly paper wrong. Yes, with your kids, it's totally perfect to say it to the kids. Snoetchi. Yeah, especially when I'm teaching, also like, and I go like for a call or something, and I find like the class is a mess, and I'd be like, Snoetchi, Snoaka. <laughs> What's happening? What is this? <laughs> You can say Malik. Oh, yeah. Um, Malik is like, what's up with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, yeah, we can say it to someone. Uh, if it's just one person, Malik. If it's a girl, you would say Malki. Malki. Um, or like Malcolm. <laughs> yes. Malik. Malik. And uh, actually, Malik is a kind of like can be like a really, it has like a really strong meaning. So, uh, um, for example, if I was in the streets and someone like bothered me, I'd be like, Malik, it's like, it's mean like, what's wrong with me? Like, uh, it's like saying what's good, what's good, and you are ready for like uh, someone did like really something, it can be major. Finshadda, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, in one of my um, one of my videos, like uh, where I give a, like a lot of sentences that we use, like uh, kind of slangs. Like, not the equivalent in English is a bit different, but it is. For example, fish at the is like where where are you catching it? It's mean like uh, like which like place that you are like focusing on. For example, if I said like fin shadda or fin shadda. And I would be like uh, or something like that. Yeah, Shnukad Diri, what are you doing? Shnukad Diri, Shnukad Dir for a guy, Shnukad Dir. Mm -hmm. So just with the question, we can like put like a lot of different uh, vocabulary, and then like you would uh, like have like a lot of uh, you know sentences to use. What's the message? No muskil. Yeah, try to put a serious face when you. No muskil. No waka. No kain. Yeah, no kain. I just say it naturally. No kain. Yeah, what have you been up to? Like, where are you catching it? Like, where, what's like, what is uh, catching you on us? Like, we have, what have you been up to? Like, the equivalent in English. <laughs> you see, like, you already, like, over here, if you, like, uh, took your notebook and you wrote that sentences, and they are, like, we use them daily. Like, these things that we use them daily, it's always, like, there is something Always we say like shnu kain, shnu waqa, shnu hadshi, shnu gulti, shnu bugiti, fin shiti. Where did you, yeah, yeah, this is like fin, like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So can you finish this? Shnu kain? Uh, what is there? Um, so kain is like there is or there are. So when we see snook is like what's what's in there? 
if you wanted to finish the sentence to be specific, you can. If you want, if you said like Shnukayan, what is it? Yeah, like saying what is it? Shnuliuma. <laughs> yes, Shnuliuma. We can say that. Shnuliuma. Oh, yeah, I love this one. Hold on. Shnuf had ras. Shnuf had dek ras. So Shnuf had dek ras literally means what's in that head. It's like what is in your head. And uh, this is like, um, so for example, when I'm quiet and uh, my father or my mother used to tell me like, Shnuf had dek ras. Like what's in that brain? What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? It's mean like, are you planning for something? Yes. So ras is the, the head. Hadak is mean that. Feh is an. Shno is the question. What's in that? And this is, uh, I don't know the equivalent in English, but that's what's mean. It's mean like, um, what's in your head? Shno hadak ras. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the second one. This is what is just like, um, Revision for the questions we did yesterday it was like just about the basic ones, but we're trying to uh, kind of extend the vocabularies and see if we can like substitute the vocabulary with others to see that the question that we know can uh, have like uh, with other vocabularies, of course. It's still like too many. This is like just the revision and giving just more, a little more vocabulary. Okay, and here, yesterday we said fin, cat. Can you finish, fin, cat? Fin, what do we see? Salam, Uz, Usman, Azam. I hope that I'm pronouncing your name correct. I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you. We Moroccan Arabic family. Okay, fin ketskun. Yes, fin ketskun. That's good. Yeah, we say fin ketskun. Now, what we can do? So, this is what we learned yesterday. Where do you live? And then we have to put fin with other questions. Let's try. Try with the other like vocabulary that we can use with fin. What can we use with fin? Fin katskun. Do you know any more vocabulary? I'm just trying to see what if you don't know uh, more vocabularies. Oh no, I mean like so. Shnu is what? Shnu is what? And fin uh, is like where? Where? Uh, you will, uh, Raoul, you're going to share that. You're not going to say ghadi fin. You will see fin ghadi. And this is, uh, we use the questions first. So fin, what we're going to do? We're going to share this. So we said fin katskun. Fin. Fin. Fin Radi, for example, yes, as he said, Fin Radi, where are you going? Fin Radi, Fin Radi, Finik, that's perfect, Finik. You can just use the possessive pronoun to mean where are you? Fin Radi, Fin? No, just Fin Radi. Fin Radi. Fin, it has the meaning where are you? Radi is mean going. Ready by itself means going. Fin ready. As men, you are new with us. What is your living in Darija? Try to write and introduce yourself in Darija while we see. Your sleepy Mac boots can save Namusia. That's correct. <laughs> yes, uh, in taxi drivers, like uh, when you are like in a, a taxi station, people say, like, 
fin ghadi, fin ghadi, fin ghadi. It's me like, where are you going? Where are you going? Like they ask him, that's that like, uh, yes, film shiti. Also like for Shiva, I'm like that's for shiti. Where did you go? Yeah, I love this one. So film shiti, the answer like, go nowhere. You can see mem shit film. Mem shit film. This is the answer. It's like it's not ex like uh, something that you would think about. It's just something like you memorize, and this is something fun we say like mem shit. Yes, this is some of. Okay, we're just doing um, we're doing this because we're just like trying to 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 see if you can remember what I've done last time, and also if you can like uh, like have like more vocabularies from the videos that I've done before, and this is why I told you try to revise my last videos to do more. Yeah, you didn't know this one. So, for example, when uh, it's uh, something Moroccans do. So, for example, uh, when we say like film shiti, where did you go? Mem shit fin. And uh, it started with the ma, which is negative. Snuggleti, megal tuelo. And something like that. It's like, uh, how can I say it? Like, uh, when people don't really want to answer and they see this kind of sentences that you really have to memorize. But when you get the uh, how can I say it? When you get it, you don't have to think about all the sentences. And level Kora. Yes. Yes. So now from the last video that I put, uh, I think, yesterday. Okay. So I'm going to ask a question from, for example, Shnu Kayajbek. Shnu Kayajbek. What do you like? So we're going to start with the verb I like because it's a basic. So after learning how to introduce yourself, probably people will be like, what do you like? Uh, either in Morocco, what do you like about the food? What do you like about people? So you need to have like uh, different vocabularies. For example, if I said, in general, you can say anything you want. But if they said like, uh, what do you like to play? You have to answer like in that context. Yes, we do that uh, in Dejuja also, like with the knife and we repeat the, the question so that uh, we, we wouldn't have to answer anything. Fin otobis, fin oto. No, we just say tobis. We don't say otobis, just tobis. There is two kind of uh, buses in Morocco. So the buses that come, like they go around the city, just in the city and around it, it's called Tobis. And uh, the buses that go outside the city to another far city, they call car. It's like the American car, but it's like car. And then we have the train, which is train. Good. So the question was, Shnu kay ajbek? Shnu kay ajbek? Shnu kay ajbek? Okay, Raoul, Shnu kay ajbek? Makibut, Shnu kay ajbek? Shivam said, kay ajbo yikra darija? And the Shnu kay ajbek? And they're going to some, like, uh, make the short, like, uh, it's not too general. For example, Shnuke Ejbuk from Maghreb. What do you like in Morocco? Let me write that for people who are new. I'm sorry for the new people. I know you might be confused because it's not your first lesson because we already have done uh, like two or three lessons like live before that. Raul, always when we have like Nitfarraj, after it, always, always, always put f. Uh, in English, it doesn't make sense, but in Georgia, we always say can't farage uh, tilfaza, can't farage video for YouTube, can't farage Netflix, can't farage shihara. Always can't farage f. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one.
كلمات لبنيبة يس سو يس ما تبعتني من الفا هذا بتكتش انتي تاكسي but the tea taxi should be like just three people no more uh, the ground taxi is uh, six people yeah six places should be that's crazy okay so the question was no okay no what do you like no notice شنو كيعجبك try to practice even the question شنو كيعجبك شنو كيعجبك شنو 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 كيعجبك كل شيء is without ل شيفام يسي كيعجبني كل شيء في المغرب it's correct except kushi kushi is everything we don't have to use the everything it's just everything without l. oh my god that's crazy so probably Rita, this is like in marrakesh because this is no way to be in rabat or the cops do going to uh give them a ticket for that Yes, كيعجبني كسكسو مغربي without مغربية because كسكسو is masculine so مغربي is going to be masculine شنو كيعجبك That makes sense Rita <laughs> Tobis Tobis is always crazy in Morocco yeah, this was crazy. I, I I bet. I mean, it's like really hard when there are six people. Imagine if it was more, it's like really crazy. Couscous, yes. This is how we pronounce couscous. So we write it as the normal as we write it in English or in French, but we pronounce it couscous. I will write it how I pronounce it. Couscous. Couscous, yes. Yes, uh, is a couscous. We pronounce it in Deja couscous. For example, I like couscous with vegetables because there is another couscous with um, the sweet thing, like a uh, uh, how is it? It's like sweet onion and um, raisin and sometimes almond. I like it too, but I prefer the vegetables one. الحمل بقر. Let me write it for you. الحم الحم is meat. الحم and البقر البقر is um, cow. الحمل بقر. أنا تعجبني الحمل بقر. I like uh, cow meat also. الحمل بقر. الحم. Don't pronounce it as H. As I pronounce, because lham by it, it's like has a other meaning, so it's lham, lham, ham lbgar. Kajibni lham lbgar. Kajibni lham lbgar. Okay, so there is something about the verb kajibni uh, I like. It's like it's a really specific verb, and um, so kajibni. 
is a verb like that I like is almost same as like uh, in Spanish we say like something is pleases me instead instead of saying like I like something. Uh, I'm sorry, Shivam. Yeah, I forgot that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, Rajabini. Okay, Rajabini. So, this, okay, Rajabini, when we use a noun with it, I like something. If it's feminine, I'm going to change this to T. If it's masculine, I'm going to keep it as Y. For example, Kuskso is a masculine, I would say Kayajibni Kuskso. But uh, if I said, like, for example, pizza, pizza with ending with E, which is feminine, so I would say Kayajibni pizza. Kayajibni pizza. Just keep in this, uh, this in mind because this verb, it means something pleases me. This ni, it means me. Yes, Kayajibni. And this is present, this is depending on what we are talking about. If it's feminine, I use ta. If it's masculine, I use y. Why? Okay, I'm going to give examples because this is seems missy. For example, over here, we have katejibni, pasta, and the pizza. For example, I put it over here because pasta is ending with e. Uh, pizza is ending with A, which is feminine words. So here, like, ni, it's mean me. I, it like, I, it pleases me. So it's like saying, ka is a present. Tid is about pizza or whatever over here is feminine. And ajib is the verb and ni is me. And this is why we see katajibni pasta, katajibni pizza. Okay, can you give me a sentence that has feminine thing? Yes, Katerjibni pizza. Yes, Katerjibni pizza, that's correct. Katerjibni pizza, because pizza is feminine. Uh, no, hold on. So this is when uh, we have a noun after, after like uh, Katerjibni. But if you have verb, like for example, Katerjibni Tfaraj, I like to watch. TV, then we have like a verb after like I like, and then you're going to keep it always is going to Kayajibni. And I was going to, to explain that after saying that. This is the case when we have I like plus noun. Okay, remember that. This is when we have I like Kayajibni or Kayajibni plus noun. Okay? So when we have like a noun, a noun, after I like, then you have to consider if the noun is feminine or masculine. If you have a verb after I like, you don't have to think about it because it's always going to be كيعجبني. كيعجبني نتفرج, كيعجبني نلعب, كيعجبني نقرأ, كيعجبني نجري. I'm just giving example if you don't, even if you don't understand the meaning of all of them, but if we have a verb after I like, don't worry about the verb uh, it says the same, but if you have a noun, you have to make sure if it's feminine or masculine. I hope that makes sense, but I'm going to give more examples so that you can see. Okay, for example, like pasta, and not just for pronunciation also, katejibni, katejibni, katejibni. Shukran. <laughs> Yes, I like your personality uh, a lot. Thank you. Yes, that's correct. You only forget this personality. Tuk is like your because it's feminine. Tamar. Date. You mean date, but that will eat is Tamar. Tamar. Is masculine, you will see Kayajibni, that's correct. And uh, for you, um, I'm correcting Shivam now. Kayajibni, without L, because N, uh, we, don't, we don't put L with Namusia. Shakhsi, Shakhsi. Yes, 
see. Yeah, already I already corrected. Okay, so that was the first example. The second one, for example, كتعجبني الموسيقى. الموسيقى again it's ending with e, which is feminine. That's why I put كتعجبني الموسيقى. كتعجبني الموسيقى. Okay. كتعجبني الموسيقى. موسيقى is music. I like music. كتعجبني الموسيقى. Okay. Try to say it after me. كتعجبني الموسيقى. كتعجبني الموسيقى. Let's focus on verb I like because today we focus on the verb I like. كتعجبني. 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 Now try to pronounce it out loud with me. At the same time, I'm the one. It's like shadowing. كتعجبني. 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 كتعجبني الموسيقى. كتعجبني القهوة. كتعجبني البيتزا. كتعجبني الخضرة. Yes. Yes. مكبو. That's, uh, that's correct. So uh, some people say الخضرة. Some people say الخضرة. Both are okay. كتعجبني الخضرة. Um, yes. شخصيتك. كتعجبني الباستا. كتعجبني... What also we can say? So anything that's ending with A is considered to be feminine. So whenever we have a feminine noun after I like, I put the T. Okay? Just as the example I gave. كتعجبني موسيقى. كتعجبني بيتزا. كتعجبني باستا. كتعجبني الخضراء. كتعجبني... What is? القهوة. Like uh, coffee. Um, yeah. So I think this, those were like enough examples to make sure that you will understand whenever we have a, um, a noun ending with E, a noun, remember, a noun ending with an E, we put the T after the K, كتعجبني. And literally, it's like in Spanish, it pleases me, like music pleases me, uh, pizza, it pleases me. So me and here T is, is about the, the noun, okay? كتعجبني الحريرة. Yes, I, for, I, can't, I can't believe I forgot about الحريرة. حريرة is Moroccan soap and it's crazy. It's like, it's really delicious. بنينة بزاف. بنينة. الحريرة بنينة. Okay. I hope you are following with me so far. Now let's go for when we put here. We put here when something is masculine. For example, أتاي. It's ending with Y, which is uh, considered to be masculine. We put the كيعجبني أتاي. كيعجبني أتاي. But literally, it's mean like um, T is pleases me. The English equivalent is I like. If you ask the Moroccan, they will say just, it's mean I like. I like something. But anyways, so just remember when we have a, here like a masculine noun, we put here. If we have like a feminine noun, is we will put it okay كيعجبني اتاي كيعجبني اتاي مزيان كيعجبني اتاي كيعجبني كسكسو كيعجبني what else we can say كيعجبني الدجاج كيتشن تشيكن تشيكن كيعجبني الخبز بريد كيعجبني الشوكولات which means chocolate كيعجبني الشوكولات so on. So here are uh, the question someone asked. Uh, what about like when we have like a verb after it? If we have a verb after it, which mean uh, like this, like this, or for example, it's always here. Either if it's feminine or masculine, it's always here. كيعجبني. Ni is mean me. أجب is the verb. And here is presence, and this is either like if it's masculine or feminine, it's the same. And here, نخدم. It's like, I like to work. I like to work. كيعجبني نخدم. كيعجبني نخدم. I like to work. كيعجبني نخدم. And do you remember when I said when we have verb after verb? In the second way verb, we, ha we remove the ka. And this is someone asked me before. I think Matthew asked me that. And it's always the case, except if we have like uh, before the verb can. كيعجبني نخدم. Can you give me an example with verb after verb using I like? For example, كيعجبني نخدم. I like to work. كيعجبني نخدم. 
okay? Is it understandable so far or is it uh, like a bit complicated? I am so sorry for the new uh, ones that she want me today. I know it's uh, a bit complicated when you just like start in the middle. And I advise you to watch my, um, like my other videos first to have an idea before like following because it's going, it's not going to make a sense for you to start in the middle. They probably wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. Can you give me them? Yes, can you give me That's a good example. I like to read. Can you give me What else we can say? Can you give me Do you know any verbs? We can say, for example, uh, try to to take notes of the new sentences. Can you give me suffer? I like to travel. Can you give me suffer? So I like and suffer is like to travel, like to travel. Kajibni in suffer. Kajibni in suffer. Okay. Try to uh, write it down. Kajibni and pronunciation in suffer. Kajibni in suffer. So in suffer or in suffer is correct. Kajibni in suffer. Kajibni in khruj. Yes, I like to go out. Kajibni in khruj. Take notes, please. I'm going to keep repeating that. You have to take notes because whatever you write down, you're going to remember it. And also try to write the equivalent explanation, whatever like you're here to remember good. Now, uh, what we see in Macbeth. Uh, whenever we have verb after verb, the first verb we keep the ka, the second verb, we get rid of the ka. So you would you, you will get rid of this in the second verb and you would see Okay. Yes, Kay Kaktub. Like I gave over here. You see the example? Here there is no ka. Safar, I like to travel. كيعجبني نسافر there is no ka over here كيعجبني نسافر كيعجبني نسافر and also Shibam gave more examples كيعجبني نقرا I like to read كيعجبني نخرج I like to go out كيعجبني نتريني I like to work out for example over here again another example كيعجبني نتمشى كيعجبني نتمشى I like to walk or to go for a walk. كيعجبني نتمشى. كيعجبني نتمشى. Okay. كيعجبني نتمشى. I hope that you wrote this. Did you wrote it? كيعجبني نتمشى. كيعجبني نتمشى. Okay. And we said كيعجبني نخدم. كيعجبني نقرا. كيعجبني نسافر. كيعجبني نخرج. كيعجبني نتمشى كيعجبني نقرا الكتب yes correct yes correct كيعجبني نقرا الكتب what else what else we can add i will give you more verbs because i know like we are just like over here we we're still starting over so i will give you more verbs كيعجبني نرتاح كيعجبني نرتاح ن ن ن نرتاح so this is ح sound نرتاح which mean I like نتريني means like uh, to work out to work out كيعجبني نتريني I like to work out نرتاح is to to get comfortable كيعجبني نرتاح I like to get comfortable but before it because we already know how to write كيعجبني right كيعجبني نرتاح كيعجبني نرتاح Did you finish with this نرتاح نرتاح Second one كيعجبني نقرا I like to read كيعجبني نقرا كيعجبني نقرا Over here كيعجبني النعس كيعجبني النعس I like to sleep And here كيعجبني نجري I like to run. كيعجبني نجري. 
مرتاح مرتاح is mean comfortable that you you wrote um, um, Raoul. So مرتاح is someone who's already uh, comfortable and it's it's mean like uh, is an adjective. If is mean I'm comfortable. If I was a guy, I would say أنا مرتاح, which means I'm comfortable too. Okay, عجبني نشرب الحليب. Yes, correct. Okay, عجبني Okay, عجبني نرسم. I like to draw. That's good. Yes. Okay, عجبني نرسم. Mhm. مزيان. Okay, عجبني نغني. I like to sing. Okay, عجبني نغني. Okay. Yeah. If you see, we have here a lot of examples. So guys, all of you try to, to make notes of the new verbs that you have over here in the comment section so that you will remember them while we are practicing. Always have a notebook and pen. Always, always, always. I like to dance. Zian. Yes. Okay. So the new ones that we have here, نرتاح, نقرا, this is نعز, and نجري, um, to run. Uh, Raul is my student, like uh, he was like really studying hard with me, like for uh, literally every day for two weeks. <laughs> He's doing great, right? Yeah, I'm telling him like I'm, I'm really proud of him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. You're doing great, Shiva. Like, I'm telling you every day. على واجب انت تلميذ مزيان برافو عليك اوكي سو دو يو ريمبر بير وات وي هاف دون ناو اتس تايم فور براكتيسينغ ناو اتس تايم فور شادوين ويزاوت لايك لوكين ات ذا ذا وورز ذات وي هاف دون سو وي سيد لايك اي لايك I like, كي عجبني. If it's plus a noun, we have to consider if the noun is feminine or masculine. For those who don't know the difference between feminine and masculine, try after finishing the vi this video to uh, check my video on feminine and masculine. And it's not really difficult. If it's a noun ending with uh, A, it means it's feminine. If it's ending with any other consonant or any other vowel, it's masculine. For example, pizza and uh, pasta is ending with e, it's feminine. And then in this case, we have to say كتعجبني with the t sound. كتعجبني pizza, كتعجبني pasta. If it's masculine, we have to say I like in this way. كيعجبني, كيعجبني. And then I can say أتاي, I can say كسكسو, I can say... Um, any uh, noun that ending with a consonant. And what had to add? Yes, yes, Raul, of course. You can ask me anytime. Yes, so uh, this is the difference between feminine and masculine. Okay? So, كيعجبني, كتعجبني. But if we have like a verb after verb, like I like and after it's another verb, for example, I like to work, I like to do something. Nertah is a verb. I like to get, it's like it has like the meaning of like, I like to get comfortable. So the, to get comfortable, we don't have the verb to get comfortable. We have a verb, it has the meaning, both of the meaning, to get comfortable. But mertah, mertah is an adjective, like I'm comfortable. So, for example, I can say أنا مرتاح, I'm comfortable, but, but if I wanted to put it as a verb, I would say أنا كنرتاح, I uh, get rest, I am getting rest. 
you see, is a verb. So the verb is ertah, like to get comfortable, to say I uh, get comfortable, I say can ertah. For example, don't bother me, I'm getting rest. And uh, if I want to say like I'm now comfortable, like uh, as an adjective, I will say mertah. That's the difference. Yes, and most of adjectives, most of adjectives they started with m, with m, mertah, mergaz, uh, uh, what I can say. Yeah, most of adjectives. Great. If you have any questions, just put them down. I'm trying to uh, see all the comments and see all the questions. Yes. Okay, where is the new numbers, the new students? Do you find it difficult to follow? Um, Alia and uh, the other guy, was was his name? Oh, Usman. I don't know if they are still here. Rita, you understood? Okay, so we said, كيعجبني أتاي كيعجبني الحم كيعجبني كسكسو كيعجبني طاجين طاجين is a Moroccan dish that uh, is either with meat and vegetables or chicken and vegetables and it's a really like uh, something we do a lot of time like we cook a lot of time and uh, we can also like say كيعجبني الطيب which means I like to cook I will write it كيعجبني there are a lot of like I like something. Okay, Jibni. Tayyib. But so what if someone asks you, uh, for example, Shnu Kayajbik for Maghrib? What do you like in Morocco? Shnu. Of course, this is a, a very common question. If you are already in Morocco and you met someone, you talk to Dali Jawad, and you will be like, uh, what do you like in Morocco? I wrote it down in the comment section so that you can uh, copy it in your notebook. كيعجبك في المغرب شنو what can you say this is like a practice for you to think about the things that you like in the region شنو كيعجبك طبيعة كتعجبني الطبيعة راؤول try to notice so طبيعة is a noun and it's ending with e which means it's feminine so you would see كتعجبني كتعجبني we're not going to finish these videos till you get comfortable with the, the feminine and masculine thing and get familiar with I like because I like um, the verb I like is like very um, I, I can't say like it's very special we use it a lot and it's hard and if we start to get familiar with it from the beginning you will be so happy with uh, your language later Especially with the feminine uh, masculine thing. I know it's confusing, but uh, we are up to challenge, right? We like challenge. Yes, I like everything about Morocco. Yes, you're correct. Yes, it's a correct sentence. Yeah, I like tabia about Morocco. So even if I'm Moroccan, كتعجبني الطبيعة. Um, كيعجبني, I can say كيعجبني المغرب حين تكالم. I like Morocco because it's calm country. Um, this is how we see Morocco. I see it like pretty peaceful and calm and I love it. And yeah, I can say كيعجبني المغرب. Hint, calm, or Salam. 
سلام ريمان ربي يخليك شكرا كيعجبني الناس نو no, الناس نوت الناس الناس از از سليبين الناس از بيبل يوسي الناس ديال المغرب سلام ريمان وير يو فروم نينتا يو ار نيو ويد اس ويلكم اوفر هير مرحبا مرحبا بك ربي يخليك اخويا الناس ديال المغرب ياس كيعجبوني الناس ديال المغرب و what we what what else we can add to that شنو كيعجبك في المغرب شنو كيعجبكم what do you like about morocco more? too so كت... one of you said كتعجبني الطبيعه yes الطبيعه is perfect كتعجبني الطبيعه we can say كيعجبني كيعجبوني الناس ديال المغرب i like uh, moroccan people um, i can say also كيعجبني الجو yeah the, the weather is perfect also Yeah, in the most of cities, you can see كيعجبني الجو في المغرب. كيعجبني الجو في المغرب. كيعجبني الجو. This is like good vocabularies for you. الجو. الجو زوين. كيعجبني الجو. Uh, what else we can add? So, in Morocco, there is a good الجو زوين. Like, um, the weather is good. الجو زوين. طبيعة زوينة طبيعة زوينة The nature is beautiful uh, الناس ظريفين People are nice الناس ظريفين People are nice um, Let's can see also Yes كتعجبني الماكلة المغربية I like Moroccan food Moroccan food is, is beautiful كيعجبني الماكلة المغربية Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, GT Bugusa. You is correct. I'm from Colombia. Marhabadik, like, uh, welcome. Yeah, I hope that you find the videos helpful and also the live. We are into the third, uh, probably is the third, this is the third uh, live. We are like starting from the beginning, step by step. We are in the fourth lesson. And we can see also Most of people like And for people who are already in Morocco and you want to try coffee, even though I, I drink my coffee black, but I know that most of foreigners, whenever they try nusnus, it means half half. Like half coffee, half milk, they like it. They like it a lot. So if you went to the coffee and you want to try it, you can say, Atini, give me, or Brits, I want. Uh, and you can say, Kahwa, Nus, Nus. And it's mean, Nus, Nus, it's mean half, half. But you also can say, um, I'm going to try to write in Arabic scripts. But I actually I don't have um, uh, Arabic in my laptop, like uh, in my, but well, I will try. I will try to see, go through that. I will try. Kahwa nus nus. Kahwa nus nus. It means the coffee is half half, like half coffee, half milk. And uh, everyone love it. Yes, actually, um, I said like can say the kahwa for I make coffee at home, and actually I go to the Medina. Medina is like the market, and I buy like a grounded uh, coffee, and uh, I tell him like to put spices in it, so it have like a like a really good taste. And now like I actually bought just grounded coffee. Uh, and I make it traditionally, and uh, I put the spices in it. Like, I just wanted to try something new by myself, 
And the coffee that I'm drinking now, I put cinnamon in it and a little of ginger. And um, I forgot the other thing what it's called and two other things. And it tastes so amazing. And I don't even have to put sugar in it because it's already tastes a little bit sweet. Yes, that's why it tastes good. Yes, it's sweet herbs. Yeah, you just tell them like, uh, like give me like a spice. Yes, I put cinnamon in it. I already know like I have my coffee. It has cinnamon in it. And uh, cinnamon is called the uh, Qarfa in Morocco. And uh, yes, it tastes good. Aziz Aliya Al-Maghrib. Oh, sentence. Uh, so instead of sometimes, I, you, you instead of saying like, I like something, and we see Aziz Aliya something, it's mean like something is there to my heart. So yeah, Aziz Aliya Al-Maghrib is a, is a correct sentence, is a perfect thing to say like, I like something more than I like it. Like it's really dear to my heart. <laughs> yeah, Qarfa is a sweet, like, uh, like yes, I love Qarfa, actually. It's like, it tastes too good. And I actually never tried it before, like, in previous years in the coffee, just this year. And I love it. Qarfa. Qarfa is cinnamon. Aziz Aliya Al-Maghrib. Please, everyone, take notes if of this uh, sentence. is a perfect sentence to say, like, Kind of like I, I like Morocco and Morocco is like dear to my heart. Uh, saying that is like a perfect thing to, uh, to to sum it up. Like I like everything about Morocco. So Ziz Aliya Al Maghrib. Ziz Aliya Al Maghrib. Yes. Uh, Raymond um, already wrote it. Ziz Aliya Al Maghrib. Okay, do you guys take notes of everything we're doing at the lesson? Okay, now now pronunciation practice. What is the word that you found difficult to pronounce or you are not sure about its pronunciation when it comes to the verb I like plus something? Ah. Uh, Yes, um, I like uh, the word Zizalia, someone or Zizalia, something. Uh, but if it's something familiar, you have to say Ziza, Zizalia. How do I say? Okay, yeah, you would. Uh, I'm going to, to write it in. Um, over here in Latin letters, and I'm going to write to write it in Arabic script because I don't have, I can't type it over here in Arabic script. Okay, Jibni, and Shufik. Okay, Jibni and Shufik. Okay, Jibni, I like and Shufik is to see you. And Kadahki uh, is to smile and to laugh. And um, in my previous video, I like I explained that we don't have a difference between smile and grind and the uh, laugh. Uh, so we do have like a smile word, but it's kind of like from standard Arabic. So this is what we mostly say. I like Jibnin Shufik Kadahki. Jibnin Shufik Kadahki. Or Jibnin Shufik. Mibtasma, and this is an adjective. Mibtasma is like uh, having a smiley face. Mibtasma. So in Arabic script, I'm going. Okay. This is kayajibni. Kayajibni. كيعجبني as uh, as this not as as this I'm going to rest in a minute. Ah, 
كان عشقك is actually more than love like um to say like so can break is I love you there yes um no is this is this without the the vowel is this And also in the first, like uh, Macbeth is called like uh, is Aziz. Aziz, if it's feminine, is uh, Aziz. It means there, there. And in the senses, it means uh, Aziz idea is like dear to me. It's dear to me. It's like it's there on my heart. We see Alia because yeah, I just noticed now the, the, the writing. So this is how we will write it. Aziz, Alia, Maghrib. If I I can also use it like uh, for if I'm talking to a person, I would say ta. Aziz, Alia, without using ta because we don't use the pronouns. It's optional. I will put it between parentheses. Yeah, you will put the te before the de as I wrote it. You will just get rid of the I in the end. Aziz Aliya or Nti Aziz Aliya. So Rita, um, that's back. So nta aziz aliya is like you are there to me. Nti aziz aliya, like you are there to me. And uh, if I was talking on prayer for like all of you, I can say Tuma azizin aliya. Azizin aliya, it means like you all like there to my heart. And that's true, Tuma azizin aliya. And uh, like to say it's about Morocco or a country, for example, you will say al Maghrib aziz aliya or aziz aliya al Maghrib. Either way, if you want to put the Maghrib in the end or the beginning, it's still the same. And uh, also the one like I like to see you smiling is I will say it slowly. Okay. Okay. So t and that is almost similar. So just emphasize that. Okay. And uh, she won't use this word often unless if you really like like madly with someone and then you can say can ashkak can ashkak can 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 ashkak. So how to pronounce it? Say can by itself, can, 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 and then ash and then the kak little can can ash. Can ashkak, can ashkak, can ashkak. Okay, can ashkak. I try, try it at the same time. I'm trying it. So you see, can take a little break. Can ashkak. So you're going to divide it to three. Can ashkak. Thank you so much, Raymon. It's it's so sweet of you to say that. I'm really glad that I'm able to help and I'm trying my best. Future speaking, very it will make me so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, now I will be shy. <laughs> I'm really glad to do that. And uh, yes, Raymond, if you didn't, if you are not in our group, uh, we have a Facebook uh, group in the, we might be like uh, in a meet, on a meeting, like on a Sunday. So you might want to join the group. Yes, uh, Kanashtak is hard to pronounce because it has the S sound and sh sound. 
we don't even like use it a lot like um because like um how i say it like moroccans are, are not that affectionate they don't use uh, love words a lot uh, they feel like uh, kind of like how i say it anishes <laughs> i don't know this like they, they find it hard to say the sweetest words this is for men like uh, women like really like uh, express how they feel and men sometimes they dance and uh, if they say i love you can break that will be like the best but some guys do yeah you just try to pronounce it like a bit slower can can and then say and she by itself and then the last ones by themselves can ashkak Oh my god, that would be so sweet. <laughs> I would love to meet you. If you uh if we were able to meet each other, that would be perfect. And thank you so much. Shukran Zef. Yes, it has the meaning of I adore you. And um yeah, it's like I really adore you, like some somehow like more than adore someone. Okay, do you guys have any more questions? Inshallah. Yeah, we will hope like for Corona to go to end uh, like soon. <laughs> Quarantine makes everything hard for people. I know a lot of people wanted, want to meet their boyfriends or girlfriends in Morocco and they are stuck because they can't fly. And uh, yeah, I mean, I really hope for people to, like for uh, like uh, the quarantine to be over so that lovers can meet each other. <laughs> but at least like uh, people can learn language now. Yeah, Shifshawun Zwina Bizzaf. Shifshawun is like, or Zwina Bizzaf. Shifshawun Zwina, I never went there actually. I want to go one day. Uh, yeah, if uh, quarantine is over, I'm going to try to travel more. I promise myself. <laughs> and I, I, I would stop working dollar more, more traveling. Okay, I just been Yeah, it's it's going to. It sounds the same. Some people say ka ka and ta is just because uh, the pronunciation of the t sound is same, even though we put it like this, it's like um breaking the rule, kind of. But it's still, if you say ta dhaki, it's correct. If you say the ka, it's still correct. Do you remember in the of the video when I said like people from Marrakesh they say ta instead of uh, like cats, and this is like it's come from them breaking the rule, and they say that. Okay, that's why it sounds somehow same. Yes, Nador is a good country, a good city. Sorry, yeah, I need more coffee, I guess. Okay, time for questions. What is the what is the the, the words or the sentences that you find difficult to pronounce from what you have done today or the other day or uh, questions that you are confused about? Raymond, what do you find difficult when it comes to Darija? What do you know so far? Are you a absolute beginner, beginner or? A you are very welcome. Okay, we said um, we were talking today about the verb I like plus a noun. And we explained to the case for I like plus a noun. If it's, we have to consider if the noun is feminine or masculine. But if we have like, uh, if we have like I like plus a verb, we're going to just say, we always say, 
كيعجبني نتفرج and we had like a lot of verbs that we explain the meaning of them and try to memorize them in sentences don't memorize vocabulary by themselves try to memorize in sentences so that you can use and also for um, the pronunciation and to remember of course That's really sweet, Raymond. Yeah, Moroccan girls are really sweet. Yeah, she's your motivation for sure. <laughs> You're going to learn fast. Anyone like learning the language for someone, they learn like really fast because, you know, when you love someone, you, you, you are like really motivated and you want to do something for them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, you're going to learn faster when like, uh, you have a reason and motivation to do so. Oh, that's sweet of you. I'm really glad you noticed the difference. And um, yeah, I mean, love makes everything easier. Any kind of love doesn't have to be like um, Romantically, it's like uh, either the love of that country, the love of, of a person, the love of, uh, uh, I don't know, the languages. Yes, it helps, really, language is really helps also like to understand the culture. For example, uh, like um, in English, like I always say that, in English, like it's a kind of sounds like more polite. For example, we say like, would you give me this? Uh, would you mind uh, pass me this? But in Indonesia, for example, we have a direct uh, words. For example, if I want to say like, would you give me that or pass me that? I would use just the verbs like atini des, atini des, brits hadi. I would use just the verbs without even pronouns. And uh, some people when they don't have like um, like a Moroccan partner, they think it's like. Uh, they think that you are like rude or you are like ordering them or like you tell them like give me this but actually it's just the language and it's had nothing to do with politeness it's just really it was like just the verb directly no change changes the rule if the name is pure. Sometimes it doesn't, yeah, there is like a case we can use the plural, but sometimes we don't even notice. So it, for example, um, I can say like I like them and plural and it will be like this. It's good. Sorry. It's good that you ask. So, uh, for example, I can say "kajbuni uh, stilwets." I like, I like like pencils or like pens in plural. But also, I can say "kajbuni stilwets," and and the people will understand me. Uh, and this is why I said like the verb "I like" is like a bit complicated sometimes because we might add something in the middle and in the end, and we have to think about like if it's feminine or masculine. And uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. Raymond, like, uh, yeah, that was like one of my favorite uh, movies when I like in the past. Sokansa, it's a really um, yeah. We get back to that. Yeah, Sokansa is a uh, really like a like um like a funny one. Let's talk about like a girl who's going to teach a guy that he can't he can't really what he can't really learn the um, what's in the women's mind and women the show in the, the movie that women that are like really smart but in a funny way like it's a it's a beautiful movie movie just watch it uh, when do we use cat and or kai a man a man. Okay, Aman, I don't know if like if you are a girl or guy. Uh, we explained that in the beginning of this video, but I will repeat again. So we use cats. We use cats 
when the noun that's after the verb I like is feminine. And when we say, when we talk about feminine nouns, all the nouns that we end in with E, it's considered to be feminine. So you would use كتعجبني ت when something after the verb is feminine, okay? And listen to me very well. I'm trying to explain it, but not take too long for it. So you use cat when the noun that's after I like, after it, is feminine. Like pizza, uh, pasta, qahwa, um, shibakiya, alhirira, anything that's ending with a, a, it's considered to be feminine. Anything else that's ending with a consonant or the other vowel, it's considered to be masculine, and then you would add Y over here, okay? So I'm going to explain it one more time. You would use cat, cat, cat. This K is me present. This T is depending on of this, if it's feminine or masculine. If it's feminine, like it's ending with E, you're going to put the T. If it doesn't end with E, it's ending with another consonant or another, fem like, a, like a vowel, you're going to put here. So this is two example, كتعجبني pasta, كتعجبني pizza, because pasta and pizza are feminine. If it's something masculine, like a tie, it's ending with Y, so it's considered to be masculine, then I put here over here. So كيعجبني a tie, كيعجبني a tie, okay? كيعجبني كسكسو, كيعجبني الحم, كيعجبني, I don't know, كيعجبني, what else we can add? كيعجبني الخبز, كيعجبني الشوكولات, like chocolate. So anything else we put here. Yeah, that's easy. This is the rule. But if we have like a verb after verb, then it's always here. So over here we have I like to work. So when we have like I like to work, I like and plus another verb, then you will always put here. Like this. كيعجبني نخدم. كيعجبني نخدم. I like to work. So over here I put here. We have another another one. كيعجبني نسافر. I like to travel. كيعجبني I put here. Because we have over here verb. And uh, even if we have the verb ending with E, it's still E. Because it's verb after verb. كيعجبني نتمشى. I like to walk. كيعجبني نتمشى. Even if it's ending with E, but it's because it's, it's a, a verb. It's a verb after verb. Okay? I hope it's clear. Okay, let me see the question. كتعجبوني is like I, I like... Like if I'm talking to a group of people and I say like كتعجبوني, if I'm talking to all of you and I would be like, I like you guys, I would be like كتعجبوني. I said كتعجبوني. Yes, and this is why I said MacBoot, uh, like the verb I like is a tricky, it has so many things in it. And what we the lesson that we did today is just about I like something and I like, I like plus noun and I like plus verb. And it's still too many things about I like. And this is one of them. How we can say like, uh, uh, I like, uh, it's like you said, like, you, I like you. كتعجبوني is good. That plural is good. Plural people, like a group of people, either it's group of girls or group of guys. كتعجبوني, it still mean like I like you. It doesn't change. <laughs> uh, Shivam, you already know that that's a correct sentence for me. كيعجبني الخدم. I do like to work. Even if it's nice, even if it's weekend, even if it's, yeah. The only time that I wouldn't work if I have migraine and the only thing that's stopping me. Yeah. Okay, mad guli hash is like, don't say it. Yes, do you have any other questions? Uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, Macboot, uh, Rita, Raymond, um, Shivam, Raul. Yeah, I don't remember the names. I'm great. <laughs> okay. 
and Andy, I don't know if Aria is still here, and uh, I think, who else? I think who's missing today is um, Dean and uh, Tina. Dean and Tina are not here today. Oh, it's not today, it's Sunday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, on Sunday, because tomorrow I'm working. Sunday. Oh, yes, Brian. Yeah. Uh, I don't, you will think is Brian uh, is not uh, in my page. Uh, is not, I think is not in my Facebook page and neither in my, uh, I don't think he is in my Facebook group. So he doesn't know that we have a meeting today. Yes, you're right. And you forgot Brian. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how to contact him and he would know like in the next, probably next time. And, um, uh, Yeah, I think he is like uh, he is like um, a subscriber in in my YouTube, but I don't think he is on my Facebook page. I don't think so. Would you mention some words with the letter of G? It's hard to pronounce it correctly. Yes. Okay. Yes, not here. <laughs> yes, there are too many ones that they are not here. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Um, well, next time that I'm going to tell them that I'm, uh, I will try to have like a daily life so that they would know that it's going to be every day. And maybe I will choose one day that is going to be a, like a, my day off at night. Um, yes, the rest now is like in Maghrib, Maghrib, I, so the first, the second, um, which one, like the second live, I made the, the whole Rick live just on the, the, the hard sounds that we don't have as a, that we wouldn't have as a, like an English speaker or other language speaker, so, but I'm going to try to explain it like uh, slightly, so the rest sound, rest sound, it's like in Maghrib, 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 what you have to do is go in to smile, you show your face, rrr, rrr, so your uh, thong is, should be in the middle. Try to do that when I'm explaining. Rrr, 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 rrr. So as like, um, so the practice that you have to do, you have to take like a sip of water, like a sip of water, and you're going to, do uh, practice gargling like doing a sound so this way you're going to practice the red sound is going to help you this is the, the advice that i can tell you like to do uh, if you practice that uh try to practice daily is going is going to help you and uh, also try to watch my video on the sounds and i believe it was my it's not the first life i think on in live stream uh, it was about like pronunciation of sounds. Z -r, like Maghrib, Maghrib. You guys, the other guys, did you uh, still have like a problem with the, the sounds? Do you still have a problem with, with the non-English sounds? Like the G, Q, and the H sound, and what else? Um, the H and the H. They are tricky, Raymond. Yes, they are tricky sounds. And but if you practice daily, like in the other video on the other live, I explained it like um, like very slowly with a lot of practice that you can try. What is Shnub's Mashib they are not like that hard actually when you are like practicing them 
when you are like aware of your uh, your true, you are aware of your muscles, you are aware of your tongue movements, your mouth movements, it makes it easy. So you just need to do a lot of crazy practice that they are funny, but <laughs> it sounds like gargling, yes. If you practice the gargling, and I know like uh, you are like, uh, we all like, we did it like when we were like young, I remember I was like a kid and I discovered that sound and it was like always put in like water and try to gargle and my mom used to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> so when you do the gargling, try to like see your uh, muscles and uh, like how we are doing it. Like, uh, and that is going to help you like to notice things. And um, just try to, when you're doing it, like you grind, like you're smiling and showing your teeth, it's like, <laughs> yes, for you, Rita. I think do you you don't have that like uh, in Colombia? That, what do you like in Col you are Colombian? You speak Spanish, right? Do they have the R sound? Right, your mouse, mouse. R <laughs> yeah, I think Portuguese are uh, a little bit like almost same as them um, in Georgia, like ERB and me. Shukran, Zef. That's really sweet of you. Gato, gato. Your Arabic is good, right, Raymond? Ya Rabbi, haqqaqliq raqabat diya qalbik. This is how I say it, Ya Rabbi. Gato, gato. This is how if I use the rest sound. But if I was like just if I saw the word for the first time, I would say ratu. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but I think in Spanish you do have the kh sound, right? Like hold you and uh, I think so. Just like because I know the nouns. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I thought like Portuguese might be like kind of a little bit like Spanish. I I, I don't know like a lot of Spanish, neither Portuguese. But yeah, I was trying to learn Spanish before. I know it's like I can't do it. It's just like no time and. Um, Lay. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I had a problem with that sound when I was young. For to go. The only sound that I had a problem with when I was like larger, uh, I used to have the problem with the re sound. Re, I don't think it's not in English, and uh, I was always to practice and say because you know you have like to really like twist your funk to say it. But I made it, I think when I was six or seven. Okay, time for questions. Do you have any other questions? So today we did like, I like to talk about what do we like in general or um, there is a lot of sentences that we can do with I like. It's just like uh, we, try to do a lot of things so that um, you're not going to get overwhelmed with a lot of vocabularies, excuse me, and a lot of verbs. 
But next time we're going to uh, make like a layer sample lesson. Thank you. Yeah, it's two hour lesson. I don't feel time. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of work like workaholic when I teach something I love. I don't really feel time and I don't feel tired. But I know it's like pretty late um, in the other countries. It's uh, 11 over here, but I know in some places it's crazy late. You're very welcome. I love you. Yeah, and guys, don't forget to like the video and... Um, um to subscribe if you haven't yet also if you can share it somewhere uh, that you think maybe some other uh some other people who are like um want to learn that either you can share it with so that's everyone going to learn something i love this word this sentence <laughs> i love a lot of sentences is mean like time is flying fast and we use this expression, we use it a lot in Morocco, like time is flying. And uh, we also like, can say, like for example, then flus. Flus is money. They fly fast, which means like, uh, like it, it the end it fast. So yeah, we can change that. It's the expressions we use in Morocco. Oh my God, Shiva. It's 4.40 a.m. and you still up. What time do you wake up? We're going to talk about the routine. So uh, try to watch the the three like the four uh, videos that I did like in the morning and in the afternoon and in the night so that we can practice more. Of course, we're going to do each one like uh, by its side by itself. And uh, for tomorrow, we're going to practice a little conversation, and then we're going to do um independent pronouns and possessive pronouns in sentences so because they are very important especially possessive pronouns uh and independent pronouns we don't really use them a lot so it's like i you he she we don't really use them and we don't need them before the verbs and why we don't need them because already in the verb we understand who who is talking and who's talking to <laughs> that's why so most of the verbs we don't really use like I go, I work, I do something. We just say like work, do, uh, sleep. We don't really need to say like I sleep at. I would say like just canness instead of saying ah uh, and I canness. Um, Facebook Messenger. I have no idea. I never, uh, I never been uh, in a group chat on Messenger. Never did that before. Never done it. So yeah, so independent pronouns, we only use them, we, we rarely use them. So when we use them, for example, as an answer. So if, uh, for example, my mom said like, who break that? And we'd be like, Anna, not me, but she Anna. Or uh, like, uh, who's that? Like, who's uh, like, for example, uh, uh, who did something? And I wanted to say like, it's me, I would see Anna. So this is when we're going to use them. Yes, but specific pronoun we do use them a lot. It's like we use we attach them to verbs like uh, like nouns like smiti as we saw and amri amrek and all of that. So we're going to try to practice it. We do have a life tomorrow. Yeah, we will see about that. I don't know if like um, is it like nice? I don't know. It does something have nice. Yes, of course, I don't have a problem. You wake up at, you sleep four hours. That's not good. It's like I sleep a lot. I don't sleep a lot either, but sometimes I just like sleep a lot to cover up. We already have um, like a Facebook group 
to if you want it like to practice in there or uh, on um, my Facebook page I can also like try to make some stuff on there like I will try to post more on social media uh, Arfa Arfa Shiva Halib <laughs> Halk yeah Yes, yeah, so guys, I will see you tomorrow, inshallah. And um, uh, I don't know why, Rawood, do you, do you want, like, uh, for example, uh, you want it like the messenger so that you can, like, hear the audios and stuff? I don't know. Or, like, just the normal shouting. Because actually, I don't really, like, use. Um, Facebook and um, Instagram and all of that, like for like, um, I don't know, like socializing. I don't do that anymore. I mostly like just use them for work. Yeah, we will see about that next time. Okay, gotta go, guys. It's like already two hours. I know a lot of people is late over there. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Hello, Friyaskum. Take care. And uh, try to say goodbye in Daija. Assalamu alaikum. So I say Assalamu alaikum because you are all like in plural. Hello, Friyaskum. Because you are plural. Yes, <laughs> the reason why, you, yeah, no, uh, yeah, she, she will get you wrong. So um, you said like, yeah, this is why I said like, is love, love phrases. So you would see it's someone you love. So when you said to be that yali, it's like mine, like my lover, like of mine. It's mean like to say someone like mine, your mine, it's mean like they are your girls. So you wouldn't use that to a friend. You can say kibida. I say to my girlfriends, um, kibida, by by itself without diali. I use diali, it's mean like mine. So, yeah. Yeah, you have to use it with someone like you are already in a relationship with. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I see like why she smiled because you know, I would use be that daily with like uh, someone I love, and especially if you use you add daily because daily is mean mine by itself, and uh, you only say mine to someone you already love, it's already yours. This is why she said, like I'm not your girl. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, Raymond. Take it step by step with her. If you, if you, if you love her, if if she's your friend, and you love her, make sure first she's single. Second of all, like, um, try to, uh, I don't know, just try to to try talk to her if you really like her, because she will be confused and she you will like stick in the friend zone if you keep talking to her as a friend, because she might think that you are not interested. And Moroccan Gaelic, I I know you might want to sleep. And Sabah al good night to you. Sabah al yeah. This is my advice to you, Raymond. I don't know. Girls sometimes uh, in Morocco, when like someone don't show them like that they love them, they think they think that they are not interested, or they are only interested like uh, as a friend, kind of. So yeah. I don't know, but you know, people are different. I can't, I can't generalize. I can't like uh, say generally. Bismillah, Raoul. Shukran, barakallahu fiqh, Santa, ala wajib.
بسلامة جيبام تهلا في راسك وتصبح على خير مكبوت بسلامة عليك ويتا بسلامة وتهلا في راسك What is correct to read that? Is some, what, what is it? Shukran. Um, yeah, do you have a question, Rita? I will wait for you. No, the Ali is already mean my man or my husband. So if you wanted to use the Ali, you would say like, no, Rajli, it already has the meaning of my hobby without using anything because Rajl, Rajl, it's mean man. Rajli, it's mean my man. If you wanted to say the man of mine, like man of mine, you can say Rajal Diari. Rajal Diari. No, Rajal Diari. Because the I in the end, it's mean my. I'm going to explain that. So Rajal, it's mean man or a husband. So when you add I, it's mean my, my husband, my man, my husband. So you say both of them, it will mean my husband of mine, which is like a letter word. So you either say Rajli or Rajl Dia or Rajl Diali as I wrote, okay? But mostly we suggest like Rajli to mean my hobby. Shukran Raymond, Ahlam, Ahlam Jamilalik. Like uh, sweet dreams for you as well. Shukran Bissab. Rbekhlik. Did you did you understand Rita? You go in either to say Rajli or Rajl Diali. Ala Wajib. Yes. Uh, who is? Andy, are you still here, Andy? Did you understand today? Did you understand the lesson today? Was anything confusing for you? The other, I don't know who's still, still uh, in the start shot. Yeah, he said the same thing. We, all, we only say Rajli or Rajli Diari. Yeah, I'm glad to, to hear that. Yeah, inshallah, we will do great and you all going to learn that Ija fast, inshallah. We're going to try our best. And uh, welcome to all the new, uh, the new students with us for today. And um, yeah. Okay, I think I will end the stream now. Uh, it was good to see you all today and uh, I see you tomorrow. Shukran Bzef. Subhu Alakhir. Slamo.